Getting ready here, just rolling it over easy. First little part of the workout, we're just going to do some structured cadence work at an endurance effort. So eight-ish minutes of working through our cadences and trying to hover in and around an endurance effort. So just a nice warm up for everybody. 50% right now and start bringing it up towards 60% at an 80 cadence. So we're just going to be here for a short piece in the beginning. The entire rest of the workout is going to be choosing your cadence. So lots of opportunity just thinking about it while you're warming up at that 80 cadence and 60%, thinking about what that feels like, how efficiently you generate the power, getting used to that activation, and then we're going to increase the cadence a couple of times and keep coming back to our same 60%. Just in this warm up, all right? Another minute here, so 80 RPM and 60% effort where you can talk. We're just warming up. And as we're doing this, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the concept of today. We've done a couple of things now. We've gone through thinking about some things around the starts when we get into a mass event, or even sometimes just a mass ride or a group ride. And then we've had uh, a few, a few uh, well, the last session was around crux points and thinking about those elements of a ride, a kind of scare us. We want to think about process in different ways, break them up. You guys are going to bring it up 10 RPM. We're going to have just a little feed of extra force in the pedals. Two, one, 90 RPM. Hold it for the rest of this 30 seconds. And then we're kind of coming back down to 60%. Just warming up, getting some work in the legs, thinking about our good habits. Eyes up, shoulders down, nice and relaxed. Hold on to that 90 cadence and back the gear off just a tad so you're at 60% again. And hold it there. Good. A little bit of push in the legs, then a little bit of relief. Works as a really, really great way to introduce your body to the effort. 90 cadence now, 60%. So after the crux points, putting some pieces together, thinking about that, I have a woman I'm working with who actually is doing some very, very, very long, uh, more of a randonneur type activity. However, super relevant to everything we do in these bigger rides. And that is group riding, pace line, working as a unit. So we are going to do a fair amount of that today. I am actually the entire workout. I'm gonna go through different pieces where we're feeling and trying to visualize a different kind of group dynamic each time. All right, from 90 cadence, you're going to bring it to 100 cadence. You're gonna stay with that little increase in effort just for 30 seconds. So bringing up the cadence in two, one, up, up. Roll it up, thinking about how this feels. Do you magically feel amazing at 100 RPM? All right, hold on to it a little bit longer. Got a little bit more force. Probably come up fairly significant number of watts. And we're gonna drop that to 60%. Hold on to the cadence though. 100 cadence, backing off the gear. Recover, recover. Good job. All right, hold on right here. 
It's actually something you can think of when you're warming up on your own, doing these little pushes, bringing it back, playing around with a lot of different leg speeds. One more minute, just like this. Then we're gonna increase the cadence again to where most of us are fairly uncomfortable, gonna say, but just to kind of top it out for the rest, for the last bit of our structured warm up. Okay, another 45 ish, 100 cadence, 60%. Make sure you're not overcooking right now. Lots of big blocks of work coming up. 20 more seconds. Up and over. Nice smooth circles. We're gonna do one more increase to 110 RPM. For almost all of us, overreaching. Do the best you can. A Little bit over 100. Hold the gear for 30 seconds. In two, one, up, up. Quick feet, quick feet. Just think about the feet turning. Nicely done. Last little bit here. Last 10 seconds. You're gonna back the gear off again. In three, two, 100 cadence. Feel that relief. 60%. Hold on to it right here and we'll just come down over the next minute. All right, 60%, 100 cadence. And over the last 30 seconds, just come all the way back to where you're comfortable, what you think is your preferred cadence after doing that little exercise. 30 seconds and we're gonna take a little break. Hold on to the 60%. Maybe your preferred cadence is between high 80s, mid 90s. Proven for most people to be a very efficient range on a flat on a road bike. Talked about that though, you wanna work on tools to your tool bag. And too easy, in two, one, bring it down. Easy, easy. Let that little bit of work <clears throat> sink itself in to your legs. All right, everybody can hear me fine, right? We're still at that point? Nice. We're gonna do one little exercise, technical drill, single leg. While you're in an easy gear, I want you to think about that knee up, power stroke down, yes, pulling along the bottom of the pedal stroke, up and around the back. We'll do two segments, starting in just over 10 seconds. You choose the leg you wanna go with first. Maybe it's a confidence builder, using your good leg. <laughs> Most of us have a little bit of a preferred side, all right? 45 seconds here in two, one, here we go. Relaxed, upper body, nothing changes. All right, you should look exactly, this is a great opportunity for me. I can see all of your uppers <laughs> and just see that nothing changes. That looks really, really good, you guys. Awesome. Everyone's come a long way from the days of clunking through this. Another 15 seconds. Good, feel that circle. When we're hurting, always going back to a little bit of a technique revisit. Think about our pedal stroke. Think about what we're doing. We're gonna change over in two, one. In the middle, just for a little bit, couple pedal strokes. Give yourself a revisit on the symmetrical. And two, one, unclip the other side. We're trying to really keep our center strong. Think about a nice neutral foot position, pulling into the back of the circle. Hip flexors, yes, they start to burn a little bit. Okay, 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. Bring the shoulders down, soft elbows, 
light hands, not leaning on the handlebars. My nephew was talking about riding across the country and suddenly having a pedal that broke. See how long he could actually keep riding because he didn't want to lose any time. See how long he could keep riding doing this. He confessed it wasn't really as long as he thought he could. Okay, in two, one, clip them back in. Good, and always just keeping doing that a little bit will allow us to hang on to that feeling and efficiency, proficiency with, a, with our uh, pedal stroke. Okay, so best part of two minutes just while we talk about the workout. So often a big ride, a fondo, in uh, the athlete's case I was talking about, she's doing um, a 1500K venture and really, really, really needs to be able to properly use some of the people around. So not something that you have to think of in just a racing context at all. It's a way to maximize your ability. And what I'm gonna do today is we're going to envision, I think that getting the visual connected with what you're doing with the numbers in the bike is really valuable. You can take it away with you. And what we're gonna to do today is we'll have three segments where you're simulating a group. The first one, as we've gone probably off an early piece of week in, work in the ride, is going to be a little hard, okay? Pushing up and around 70 and 80% when we're taking a turn. The next one is going to be a lot more like a big group, falling into a big group. The last one will be a push to the end. And there's little elements in between where we're not sitting up and just resting, like a real ride. All right, so getting ready here, four times, four times through, we're starting a minute and a half as though we're in the middle of a smallish group, 60%. As I said, all of your, all at your preferred cadence, ideally 90 to 100, and you're gonna take a pull on the front, get onto the back, and then keep going through that rotation. Preferred cadence right now, bring the gear up. This is four times through, in two, one, here we go. I'm hovering right around 95, 97 RPM. That feels comfortable to me. And 60%, awesome. Minute and a half like this. A minute and a half, a minute and a half. So we have a minute to go. All right, a little bit more cadence if you want. This is a small group we've gotten together with, maybe after just missing the hard punchy start and we're participating, but we're not blowing it up. In 30 seconds, you're gonna be taking a turn on the front. When we're in a small group, don't wanna to push too, too hard at this point, but you're taking your responsibility for that speed of the group. We're trying to come back to a bigger group so it's easier ahead of us, all right? 10 seconds, 45 seconds, bring it up to your 80%. Your choice of cadence in three, two, one. Come on, guys. Up, up. Hold that speed on the front. You're in the wind. You don't have a wheel behind you. You're riding along, participating. You have 30 more seconds. They're measured efforts. Let's say here, there are four of you. Hey, everyone's taking a turn. You have just over 15 seconds left. Good job. Eyes up. Now, remember, the end of your pull is when you get on the back again, all right? We're being careful here. We're gonna pull off, pulling off, a little bit of effort off as we go to the back, 
We have another 45 seconds. 70%. Still feels hard. Okay. On the back. 70. 30 seconds to go. Come on. Recover. Recover. Your choice of cadence. Play around with the gears. Good job. 15 more seconds. And you're in that sweet spot in the middle. Back to your 60%. Good job. Hold it right here. In five. It's gonna feel better. In the middle of a small group. Two, one, 60%. Everybody sometimes falls in the trap of feeling like it's too easy, but those turns on the front get harder and harder and getting on the back gets harder and harder. We're not trying to make this super hard. We're trying to make it a really steady build as collectively we move the group faster to get to a bigger group. Okay? Good job. Right here, right here, you got 45 more seconds. Second wheel. It's only four of you, remember. Each taking a nice organized 45 second pull for right now. Going in 30 seconds. Recover, recover. Play with your gears as you need. Awesome job. That person on the front starting to make the motions that they're gonna pull off. Maybe not the signal quite yet, but it's coming. Hold the cadence. This is your turn to drive the speed for a little bit. In two, one, up, up. Come on, guys. Relax, eyes up, rolling through. The person ahead of you, if they're doing this right, pulled off and immediately started backing off towards the back. They're looking for their rest. They're not forcing you to race them, which is what happens in situations where you have inexperienced people and the person doesn't drop back. Hard for you to go through. Everyone starts surging. Here we go, we're signaling. We're going to the back, dropping it off a little bit. And as quickly as we can. There we go. On the back, we saw that second last wheel. Now we're there, but it still feels a bit hard. Always feels a little harder than we thought it would. Doesn't it just get easy when you come off the front? No, you have to get all the way back again. 20 seconds, really good. The sweet spot's coming up. Back to that endurance pace. Get to sit in the middle, even have a drink, maybe change your gear. Here we go. Three, two, one. Play with your cadence, play with your gear. You're in the middle. You have full shelter. You're recovering. Awesome job. Relax, relax. Two times through. Two times through. Two more to go. A group effort. Group effort. Everyone's working together. Awesome job. You're gonna be second wheel in 10 seconds. This is a good time to be able to get a sip of water. Forty-five more. Recover, recover. Again, this is where you can play around with your gear a bit and your cadence. You're in a full draft. You're wanting to do the best you can when you're on the front to drive the speed at the same rate everyone else is.
All right, guys, you're going back on the front. Coming up again. You're getting that signal from the front rider. Here we go. In two, one, up, up. 45 seconds. Eyes up, eyes forward. And see, there's a big group ahead. Big group of riders. That's gonna mean some good recovery. Wanna be there if we can. Come on, push, push, just keep it on us. Keep it on us. Second last time for this segment. Really good, guys. There you go, your pull's almost over. Five seconds, you're gonna signal. But the end is when you get to the back. Signal, and a little bit of sliding space. Get yourself on the back. Hopefully, less than 10 seconds, because you pulled right off. Awesome job. There you go. 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. So good, guys. Okay, back into that sweet spot. Just over 10 seconds. So really nicely working group. Three, two, you're right in the middle. Recover, recover. Minute and a half here. So remember, one of the biggest rookie mistakes people make, two things. One, they pull off the front, they try and stay beside the front rider. You need to get to the back and get your recovery. <clears throat> the end of your pull is not when you pull off, it's when you're back on the back in safety land. 45 seconds. Enjoy this last bit. Last time through, that big group, 20 riders just ahead of you. Nobody's blown themselves up to do this. Everybody's just taken a systematic approach. Tick it off. You can see they're going a bit slower than us. Why we're catching them. And your turn, last pull before we catch them. Coming up in 10. Efficient cadence. Rolling to the front. Two, one. Come on, guys. Awesome. You roll through nice and strong, keeping the group speed. When you had wheels in front of you, felt easier. Now it's you driving the bus. Just over 15 seconds. Awesome job, guys. We're gonna finish this segment on the back, okay? So this is our last 45 seconds coming up. Signal. Soft pedal a little bit right away. Get to the back. We're catching the big group. Here we go. Ride with it. Come on. You're recovering as you're catching the group. Perfect, perfect. 20 seconds. Here's that big posse. Some of your teammates made it into that front group. Now you're back together again with your new other three teammates you just found. Here you go in three, two, 50%. Sitting in the group. Recover, recover. Don't sit right up. Awesome job. Feel your breathing come down. 
bit surprised that 12 minutes took its toll more than you thought maybe it would riding at that effort it's a steady build it's those consistent efforts <clears throat> all right get your breathing back recover recover if you took a little bit of extra sliding space and you might because you've just re-entered a bigger group riding a little bit more slowly quite a bit more slowly and lots of wheels around get yourself in a good position where you can feel the draft but be relaxed feel safe <clears throat> we're close to halfway through this little piece of sitting in the group and getting recouped recovered the next thing you're going to do the group is picking it up a little bit and we're going to be taking turns on the front again but everything is a little bit lower effort so you're going to be sitting like this a little bit harder at 60 percent pace is picking up you're going to be sitting at 60 percent again your choice of cadence play around with it play with those gears you feel like you're getting bogged down one gear off a little more leg speed go with that okay so what you're doing here is the group is now bigger our base is all 60 percent when we take a pull we have a lot of people so they're shorter I have to sit on the front for a long time take a little short contributory pull just 75 percent and we're going to do that four times all right starting up in just over 30 seconds <clears throat> you can feel the group energy picking up a little bit as I said there's a lot of you 20 seconds you're gonna bring it up to 60% have a drink before we start this four times 60% is your base not going below that all right in five bring that last bit of gear in two one up up <clears throat> trick in this is to keep aware pay attention to what's going on this has been a good time to look at how many of your friends are here <clears throat> maybe you were the only one of your group that didn't get over the first part with the front group <clears throat> you're here again that's what counts maybe you still have a friend behind and you have to hope they can do a little bit of the same find a small group bring themselves back awesome guys that's one minute you're gonna do a pull in another minute let's play around right here as we talked about play around with our gear and our leg speed like we did in the warm-up <clears throat> let's feel a little bit more gear drop the cadence try that another thing about being comfortable different gearing and different leg speed is when you maybe do have physical issues a bit of cramping <clears throat> you can work around feeling how to get rid of it don't always have to just stop near the front of this group we're going to go through and take a turn bring it up to 75 percent just 30 seconds you're just helping keep the overall speed up in two one up up <clears throat> awesome bring the shoulders down you should not feel too hard halfway through awesome job awesome job 
Last 10 seconds. Last five. Same thing. You're not on recovery till you're back in the group. Signal, back it off. Here we go, 60%. Bring it down again. Higher leg speed. Recover, recover. <clears throat> Feel the legs coming back. 90 seconds to go. You're gonna go to the front again. <clears throat> There's a bigger group, more of you. This is a way to think about it. Still participate. Don't feel like you have to take too much on. But this is help towards your goal. <clears throat> Might just be a group goal of doing a ride, certain pace. Might be an actual event. <clears throat> 45 seconds. Good time to keep getting some beverages in. <clears throat> Next turn. Part of going to the front like this, in this kind of place in an event, is keeping the group motivation. Keeping everybody Activated, wanting to be part of it. <clears throat> Everyone taking a turn. Doesn't take a lot, or say it only takes a little to add a lot here. All right, back on the front, second time. Maybe a bit more gear for that 75%. In two, one, here we go. Come on. You know that feeling, take a pull, people around you, thank you, give you a little pat on the back maybe, because you're all working as a team. Three, two, signal, back in the group. This is a good little endurance piece with those subtle pushes. Now sometimes we see people who go to the front, do massive pulls, really, really long, hopefully not. Really hard, affects everyone else. Really, really long, mostly just affects them. But you want, try and keep it so everybody's engaged. It really helps taking your turn going through, unless you are desperately in need of a break. And that's okay too, sometimes your legs come back. One minute, one minute. Hold on to that number, don't let it slide. Although in a big group, sometimes you can soft pedal, few pedal strokes, don't let yourself go too far back. Especially when you're participating near the front. There's only two more of these. A little bit of hot action at the end after this. Okay? Good job. Taking that turn. It's coming up. 10 seconds. Maybe a little slower cadence, a little more gear as you go through. Relax everyone, relax everything. In five, three, two, come on. You're just organizing the pace, being part of that structure. Mentally, feels really good to be doing this and not just sitting in, falling asleep, 
Plus, like I said, you really are badly in need of that recovery. Good job, everyone. Taking it through. Second last time. Two, one, and back. Inch your happy place in the group. Last time. Last time. Recover, recover. So this is a big segment in the middle. We had the early chase. We found our bigger group. So we get a chance to ride really fast, still not doing it all on our own. Awesome job, guys. Got another minute after this. And then a turn. Then the group is going to slow down one last time before it starts pushing hard to the end. He knew that was coming, right? <laughs> okay. 30 seconds. Been a big, long segment. Maybe a couple people weren't actually able to stay here, even though it felt easy to you, because you trained for it, and you knew what's going on. Stayed relatively near the front. All right, 30 seconds. Up, up, push up. Last one. Come on, guys. Come on. We're gonna go back to an easier group speed after this push. You're near the front of the group though. Well, you're on the front of the group right now. Gonna stay near the front this time. In two, one, back it off. 50%. Picked up a few more ahead of you. But we're getting close to the end of the ride. Recover, recover. You are on the front, that last pull. You know it's near the end of the ride. People have goals, you have goals. <clears throat> There's going to be a push to the end. And that's gonna be eight minutes, pretty hard. Harder than we've gone. Take a drink. You're a smart rider. You've ridden a lot of group activities. So you know that even though it's very quiet right now, there's people who are starting to smell the barn. You came off the front, and this time you didn't slide too far back. <clears throat> you went somewhere into the middle of the group just to make sure you can be not caught by surprise for anything that speeds up next. You can feel it starting to happen. Some little accelerations as people moving around, setting up another pace line. It's gonna strain anyone who's too far to the back. Little acceleration, let's pick up the leg speed. 10 RPM, stay in this gear. Let's get ourselves into position. Some very, very good riders at whatever speed it is they're going. Back down, back down. Get caught out right here. <laughs> You've done some work, but you saved a lot. You rode smart, you rode a clever, uh, progressive race ride so far. Another little acceleration. You can feel it setting up. You don't wanna be right on the front right off the get-go. See how fast everybody's gonna go into this? Quick sip of water. We're right here. 60 seconds now, 60%. Just off the front. You're gonna take a whole minute here. Bringing your legs back in. You've practiced. 
the various leg speed op options, you know what's going to give you those higher, higher pushes. You've got over 30 seconds still. Right here. Still thinking you're relaxing. Still thinking you're recovering. This now is only four of you again. Straining at the front of the group. Some may be sitting on. We don't know. We don't care. We just know we have a time goal and we want to get there. And these other people, maybe our teammates, are part of that. Rolling on the front. Bring it right up to 85%. In two, one, 30 seconds. Come on. Up, up, up. Eyes up. Setting the pace for everybody. Holding it another 15 seconds. Awesome job, come on. This is hard now. This is our last seven minutes to go. Come on guys. You're gonna signal, off. Remember, until you get to the back of your four, you're not safe. There you go. On the back, on the back. Recover, recover. 30 seconds at 75%. Come on. Awesome job, guys. Come on. Recover, recover. Hard after that push. Three, two, moving into third position. Come on, 60%. Now you get a minute. Now you get a minute. Right now, you're in the best position in the line. You suffered through getting on the back. You sat there. Now you don't have to get on the front for over 30 seconds. Even a little drink here. Okay, guys. Okay. I'm gonna be almost halfway after this next turn on the front and getting on the back. 20 seconds. Be smart with your cadence. Relax your shoulders. Eyes up the road. Your front rider, Sandy, just getting ready to pull off. He's nice and steady, and he'll get himself right off the front. Two, one, ride through. 85%. Come on. 30 seconds. Holding the speed for everybody. Come on, just looking at the road. Feeling that build. Knowing it's not for too long. 10 seconds to go. Awesome job. Five, three, two, signal. And it's not easy yet. Get yourself to the back. Get yourself to the back. 30 seconds. Drifting back. There's second last wheel. On to the last one. Now you're recovering. Now you're on the wheel. Now your heart rate will come down. 10 seconds. And then back to that sweet spot again. In five, three, two, 60%. In the middle. In the middle. Halfway through. Come on, guys. This is coming really close to the end. Keep that leg speed up. Two more turns on the front. See how different it is? We change the time a little bit. Change the effort a little bit on the front. Speed is higher. Understand, think about all these different, not the same, completely different things each time we're doing it. Okay, second last one. Second last. Next time, it's gonna be for the finish line. There's four of you working. There's a few sitting on. Don't worry about that. Two, one, on the front. Come on, guys. Up, up. Up, up. Take charge. Not surging. Rolling through. Picking it up a little bit. If you needed to get 
it back to speed but don't jump through or do anything erratic this is your posse come on push 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 three two signal and on the back come on get back there fast as you can fast as you can second last wheel pull in on the back start recovering so good <clears throat> come on guys we're right near the end right near the end recover recover on the back you can stand a couple pedal strokes too hey cap all right back down in the middle 60 percent come on <clears throat> recover recover last turn coming up in that sweet spot like i said four of you have been working beautifully together but a few people sat on and have been taking the ride so let's just make sure we keep it hard enough to the end which is happening in just over a minute you're going to take it through you're going to get on the back and then we'll just sprint for the line you're going to make that time goal here we go roll through smart choices good cadence 85 percent come on come on awesome push push that's halfway halfway more than halfway come on eyes up there's a the finish line it's right ahead you're gonna take a wheel one more time then we're gonna sprint signal off get on a wheel there's a second wheel from the back jump on that one here we go sprinting for the line bring up your rpm up up come on up up give me 10 seconds all the way come on last five three two one oh good job done 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 recover recover back that gear off don't let those people tell you to get right off your bike to get your timing chip whatever it is they do <laughs> roll around come back good job way harder than it looked right <clears throat> harder I think so <sighs> while we're just pedaling easy we're done no surprises at the end here you did a big block of work there and I just want to quickly go over it for you first day we were working on kind of what a start might look like beginning of a ride even with some people doesn't even have to be an event everyone going out from the gun but we got into a small group it wasn't quite with the front and we worked steadily taking a little bit longer turns on the front not as hard an output it's still hard getting on the wheels after you do that so we're paying attention to that and then coming back to the group okay we caught a group ahead they were not riding too hard at the time but they started to pick it up and also with our influence we wanted to keep it active and not let everybody just go oh, it's a long way still so we started doing just a little bit of through turns going to the front for 30 seconds sitting in the group and getting lots of recovery that lasted for a big patch in the middle of 10 minutes then we had a little bit of reorganization where people came back together we know the finish is coming up and then four of us went to the front and created a little team time trial where no one was on the front for more than 30 seconds 
that meant that with four of you, you only had 90 seconds between and 30 of that is getting on the back again. Bye Sandy, thanks for that turn at the end. That was magic. <sighs> Gonna put you in lead out position in the future. <sighs> so thanks everybody. I just want to try and teach you some of the concepts. Nothing else, it'll help your Tour de France watching maybe. <laughs> but hopefully help your own riding and uh, have fun out there with your friends. You can practice all this when you're starting to do group rides. So we'll just, uh, for today, that's a wrap.